So hello everyone, my name is Brenda. I'm a product manager on the Bedrock team. Um, and uh, so shout out to my fellow Bedrockers here, Lauren, DBD, and Yvonne. Um, so today I'm gonna share a bit about Lassie, which is a new retrieval client that um, some folks on the team, Hannah, Rod, and Kyle started building out back in January. So it's been a couple of months, but um, yeah, really excited to share kind of the progress that's been made and how it works and how you can talk to um, other folks in the ecosystem about it. So let's get started. Um, so uh, I don't know how you guys kind of feel when you talk about Filecoin and IPFS, but I think sometimes when I share about it to whether it's clients or to just my friends or my family, um, you know, it's kind of technically confusing for them. And so for them, you know, maybe you're a client or maybe you're like a consumer and you're like, Hey, you know, Falcon and IPFS are pretty cool, but how do I actually know where my data is? And if I have stored on a storage provider on Filecoin, how do I know which one has it? Um, do I have to like track all these things down and remember it myself? So what if I'm a client and I don't actually know where my data is or which storage provider has it? And this is where we're introducing Lassie, um, which is a retrieval client that will actually find and fetch your CIDs over the best protocols available on both IPFS and Filecoin. So just to show a little bit more about how it works, with this nifty diagram, um, shout out to Lauren. So basically um, on the client side, you have the CLI tool, um, Lassie, and essentially how it works right now is that you give it a CID. In this case, there is um, this example CID here, B-A-F-Y, you know, dot, 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 dot. Um, you just ask Lassie, hey, I wanna fetch this CID. Lassie will actually go and query the IPNI, the interplanetary network indexer that um, Yvonne shared a bit about earlier, and how are they serving it? So IP and I will come back with um, this group of providers, both IPFS and Filecoin providers, and essentially um, like which providers they are and what protocols they're serving it over. And so last we'll actually go and ask these different providers, hey, like, please provide me this CID. And it will actually race these different um, providers and whoever returns the fastest, um, that's where you get your data from. So there's a couple of different Lassie modes that um, you can use it in. Um, the first one being the most straightforward, which is a CLI. You basically download um, Lassie and you basically run this space, very simple command, Lassie fetch, and then you insert your CID and it will return you a um, your CID in um, car file format. So that's the CLI. You can also use the Go client library, which can be integrated directly into your Go app. Um, there's also an HTTP daemon for integration into non-Go apps. And we'll um, talk about a little bit more about this later. Um, some pretty neat Lassie features. Um, it's very lightweight, but essentially the big, the big one, it retrieves seamlessly from both Filecoin and IPFS for you. Um, what it does, it will find the content for you, or you can also specify where you want to get the content if you know where your provider is and how to reach it. Um, it also, it basically queries all these providers in parallel and returns the data to you from the fastest source, as I explained earlier. Um, and then optionally, you can see detailed progress information. So there's a snippet here that kind of shows, hey, um, the step-by-step -step of what's happening, you're fetching the CID, it queries indexer for the CID. Um, here's the candidates that I found from the indexer and it's querying all of them. Um, and it kind of lists the progress of what's happening. So you can see where your request is. Um, so Lassie also fetches and guards your data. So basically um, all data that Lassie returns to you is in car format. So it's verified data. Um, so you, you know that when you receive it, it's exactly what you asked for. Um, so basically a data provider cannot provide you with false data or give you something that is actually completely different from, um, what you had asked for from your CID. Um, and then basically the, the output that Lassie has gives you everything you need to verify the content as well. So Lassie cute, but also it fetches and it guards for you. So really quickly, I wanted to share where Lassie is being used today, in addition to just, you know, individual um, like end users, such as myself or um, other folks working at this company using Lassie and CLI. But actually, um, Saturn, a decentralized CDN, which 
many of you guys probably have heard about. Um, essentially, it cash misses to Filecoin and IPFS, and it's doing this via Lassie. So um, if you go to Saturn and you ask for a particular CID, um, and maybe the Saturn doesn't, um, Saturn cash nodes don't have this, it'll actually go and um, use Lassie and ask for this content from IPFS and Filecoin. And so it's being used today, um, which is really neat. Uh, and you can see just some basic stats that I pulled earlier today. Um, retrievals both to Filecoin and IPFS are flowing. So if anyone kind of claims to you that, hey, like retrievals are broken or retrievals aren't working, they actually are working. And so you can see here that a portion of IPFS IO traffic right now is being sent to both storage providers and IPFS nodes. And basically, um, yeah, over like 113 million retrievals, successful retrievals on both Filecoin and IPFS. This is just over um, a weekly seven-day period. And out of that, we know for sure there's at least um, 147 plus thousand successful retrievals from um, over 63 unique storage providers. And um, yeah, possibly more because the way that we're separating this right now is um, purely based on GraphSync, which is a retrieval protocol um, versus BitSwap. And actually, storage providers are also um, serving retrievals over BitSwap. So it could be could be more than could be more than um, this number, but it's it's hard to just differentiate that random our metrics. Um, so yeah, really exciting. This is just from like one project, the Saturn um, Rare project that's kind of in ramping and test mode right now. So just want to encourage everyone to try out Lassie, give us feedback, um, have some links in this deck where you can have a base. You can go see basic Lassie, basic Lassie tutorial. Um, we have a GitHub that has more detailed information as well as HTTP spec. And if you have any questions, find us on um, Retrieval Help. And I did want to show you how easy it is to use. So for the purpose of this demo, very simple. I just um, downloaded like Lassie and I am running Lassie Fetch. Um, I provide this CID. Um, and essentially what I'm doing um, here is I also downloaded the car tooling and FFmpeg tooling. Um, I'm basically extracting the car file. So, um, and then I'm gonna play it over uh, FF Play. And this video um, is basically a video that one of our teammates, Rod, had uploaded um, to Web3 Storage. And so let's see what happens. Oh, it's on the screen. But here's a video playing. Very simple and easy to use. So um, yeah, let me know if you try it out. Find us on Retrieval Help if you have any questions. And that's it for me.